Hi, my name is Lewis Mann and I work for True Build Home. Uh, about two years ago, we did a video, a video entitled uh, Build a Home, Build Wealth. And then about six months ago, I read an analyst who said, don't invest in a home, they're bad investments. I got to thinking about that and, well, conventionally, I guess they probably are. If you do what 99% of the crowd does. And that's why I wanted to do a follow-up to this video series. Build a home, build wealth. What do we mean by that? Well, what does True Built Home really do? Or why do we do what we do? It's, it's not just to provide a high quality product, which we feel we do. In fact, we feel like our homes can compete with any other builder out there within our market niche. It's not to provide a house uh, overhead, so to speak, although we effectively do that too. Uh, what we want families and individuals to grasp is that you could build one of our products and you can have instant equity, you can sell your house, even if the economy turns downward, you can have some profit from it if you play the game right. And that's why we do it, because as a, a son of a military man, I watched my dad travel from Goose Bay, Labrador. We lived in Louisiana, Goose Bay, Labrador. If you folks know where that is, Nova Scotia area. Uh, we went to Colorado, went to Montana, six months in Illinois, finally transferred out to Washington State. And I don't remember a whole lot about the homes because we had a lot of them. But the only time my dad, I think, bought one was here, uh, I mean, uh, in Colorado Springs when we lived there for about three years. And again, I don't remember about the walls and the structure. I just remember it was a good time in our life. And I don't know if it was because my dad, when he sold the house, made some money, or if it was a less stressful time. But uh, I read a fact uh, back in June about Americans and uh, how their um, equity value is. About 6.3 million Americans in this article owe 33% more on their home uh, than it's worth. So, that made me think about the stresses in the life that when I was a kid, and I didn't know if my dad was ever underwater, he never talked about it, but you know how that can resonate with a family? Or an individual who thought about buying a house, living in it for a few years, selling it, either buying another home um, in a better location, or, or maybe taking all the money and just going to Mexico and living down there, or whatever they wanted. But when the market changed in 2007, 2008, that wiped out a lot of wealth for folks. It was a bad time. But it wasn't so bad for those that were buying and building homes with True Built Home. In fact, we finished a home at the end of 2007, right before the market fell in 2008. The final construction was about 320. The value was 520. So he had about uh, $200,000 in equity. Should have sold, <laughs> but he didn't. Continued to live in it, and then the uh, market crashed. And the value of that structure, that house went down to about 352 at its lowest moment. Um, but he still had $40,000 worth of equity. Could have still sold. Didn't know a lot of people in that time period that could sell their homes that had recently purchased them and could get out from a, a dead mortgage. That's the driving force of why we do what we do. We think you can have a better home, a bigger home for less money. That's great, but we also think that you're gonna, have, you're gonna have equity from the very beginning of the process. And if you decide to sell right after you build, that's great. I knew a man in 2002 that built a spec house. Um, mobile home got ripped off of it. It was actually in a mobile home community, but there had been several who were taking their mobile home and replacing them with stick framed houses. Bought the land with 39,000. Uh, 39, mobile home had already been removed. Power, sewer, water were there built a 1,700 square foot structure, cost about 130 to complete the project, put it on the market for 199, what the bank appraised it for, and sold it in three days. That was a good amount of money. And you could see why he built the home, he built wealth. Now, the problem, and we could go into the whole history of what went wrong in 2007, 2008. Banks were greedy, Wall Street was greedy, clients were greedy, builders got greedy. And so the bubble popped, right? Um, but those that were, again, building with Onulot Builders were not seeing the same results. So the 99% of Americans who did that, uh, their lives were miserable. Those who were building their homes with an Onulot Builder, like True Built Home, they were enjoying peace of mind. Now, I thought it'd be important 
to uh, kind of define what True Build Home's program is and what it's not. So True Build Home is a custom home builder. That means we have all these plans on our website, right? You can choose one and then it's a la carte. You can add granite countertops because we do Formica. Uh, you can do hardwoods because we do vinyl or you can upgrade your carpets to hardwoods or leave it a carpet or upgrade the carpet. Um, so we have kind of a base structure that we sell and that's to compete with others. And then it's a la carte. Like I said, you can add a litany of things to your home. Uh, some are going to increase the value of your home. Some are just going to be um, luxury features that you've just got to have like granite countertops. So uh, that's a little bit about who we are. Now, will we build your blueprints if you have them? If you have blueprints, and I mean real blueprints that have your name on it and a designer, and they've been engineered, we'll bid on them. If you send us a link to a plan from another website, we're not gonna spend the time for that. It's a waste of time for us. It, uh, it, it's not effective and we've never ever built a home for someone that we bid a, a, a bid a house like that for. If you send in a napkin with a drawing, we're not gonna bid that either. You have, to have, you have to be serious. You have to have blueprints, you have to have engineering. Now having said that, we get people who send these blueprints and engineering in thinking they're going to get our price, which is probably right around 58 to 65 bucks a square foot. No, they got a 10, 12 roof pitch. Uh, they got a stucco finish, you know, so they got coffered ceilings. You're not going to get a price as competitive as our standard plans on the website are. So just keep those things in mind. Uh, what we are, again, we're a home builder. We build 100% on your site. Uh, we use modern products. We don't use anything funky or different or strange. Standard wood. And um, we don't, though, uh, deliver your home. Uh, we're not modular. We're not manufactured. So if you've come here thinking we were, well, we've, what we do is we compete with them. So you've probably clicked on one of our ads and it's brought you to this link, perhaps. But um, basically, it's because we want to put them industries out of business. <laughs> We want to put mobile and manufacturing out of business. Manufacturing homes, don't get me wrong, I think they're going to eventually get to a price point that makes them as affordable as building on site. You're, you're, you're essentially getting, the, they're selling you on the concept that they're building it inside of a factory and then delivering it out. It comes with a lot of challenges, uh, like if your foundation's not straight and proper, then they've got to do a lot of, uh, um, a, a lot of site work to make things work. Um, but when you build on site, those things are kind of like, well, it kind of goes along with the course of action that it's going to happen. The, the framers, everyone deals with it, but you are getting a site built home, which appraise their, their appraisal values are always higher for site built home or custom built homes than they are for these mobile and manufactured. I gave you a couple of ex examples about, um, of, uh, people who are, who've built and sold and, uh, in good times and bad times. So we have one that we're building right now in modern times, 2015. Uh, customer bought a piece of land, nice view lot. Uh, he's going to be into it for 320 at appraised for $550,000. Now, that difference between the cost of the structure and what its value is, is called the equity. So a lot of people ask, well, what's equity? So if you build it for 300,000, it's worth 500,000. The bank says you got $200,000 worth of equity. Now you can do a lot of things with that equity. Uh, I believe most banks have a season time where you can, you gotta wait about six months and then you can do what's called a HELOC. A HELOC is a home equity line of credit. In other words, they'll let you tap about 80% of that equity and create in essence your own visa card that uh, rates maybe between 4.99 and 7.99, much better than what the credit card industry is offering you. So you can see the value in that. Um, and uh, that's one of the things that I think most people don't take advantage of. In fact, a recent study showed that billions of equity has not been tapped into by the American homeowner. So if you build one of our structures, you wait for six months, you have some equity, banks, if you got good credit, prove yourself, uh, a loyal payer of your debts, they're going to give you a home equity line of credit. Now, having said all of that, we know that if you're here, you're at least either thinking of building, you are going to build, or you just want to find out a little bit more about this process. We would like for you to consider True Build Home. The one thing I think really we've got going for us, and we've got a lot of things going for us, is that we've decided to take the um, 
nickel and dime process out of the building uh, concept that a lot of clients go through with other builders. Uh, we've packed our house full of good things standard so you don't have to order them as upgrades. For instance, we do uh, garage door openers as standard. A lot of builders out there are going to charge you for it. We just think that most people would agree uh, garage door opener is probably a standard thing nowadays. So that's one of uh, really uh, perhaps uh, several that you would just uh, say, yeah, that makes sense. I, I, I get that. Um, the other thing is that all of our salespeople, every single one of our salespeople has either built a house with us, with one of our competitors, and then came work for us, or they built it on their own. So when you sit down with somebody in our company uh, through our three branches, Spokane, Tri-Cities, and Tacoma, you can rest assured that the person sitting across from you has gone through what you're going to go through. Because we hear some of these things. Um, because we, we, we realize that 99% uh, of you aren't going to build this way. You're just not going to, you're, you're going to go with the conventional crowd mentality. Fine, that's great because the, here's some of the things we, we hear. Well, it takes too much time and energy. Yes, it does take time and energy. I think there's an old saying that uh, anything uh, of worth in life will take time and energy. And if it wasn't, I just made that up. I'll coin that. I don't know the process. That's why it's important to have a salesperson and a team of people that know the process. In fact, uh, I have built, or, or at least assisted in, sold, uh, uh, managed over 1,500 homes in, since 1996 with uh, two other companies and my, my own company. So we know the process. I have to deal with banks and counties. Yes, you do. And uh, I'll tell you, both of those entities are knuckleheads. No, I'm, I'm teasing. They're not knuckleheads. They have their own processes. And it's laborious. But you can get through it if you don't get writer's cramp. It will take too long. Well, uh, that uh, may be true if six to eight months is too long or four to six months is too long for you to have $40,000 worth of equity or $200,000 worth of equity. So sometimes I get a little... Well, I get a little exhausted trying to explain to people that those, those things right there are the least of your concerns. Uh, just imagine, and it happens, the real estate market will plummet again. It has a cycle. Are you going to be one of those persons that bought at the height of the market only to find out that all of your equity is eroded and now you have a mortgage that's upside down, like 6.3 million Americans, while others enjoy equity in their home and they have a HELOC? You know, simply put, I, I've done a lot of things in my life. I've uh, invested in the stock market, and I bet most of you are out there shrugging your heads. That didn't work out so well. Tried to manage it myself. I've invested in oil and gas. Did okay, not great. Uh, the only thing I can really say that I've ever made money at successfully was building a new home. So that comes to the end of our uh, second series of videos, Build Home, Build Wealth. We at least think we have a better product than most. We hope you consider our standard features compared to theirs and uh, take a look at our designs. We put a lot into them, a lot of storage, a lot of light, big hallways, big entries. So um, if you're going to be building soon in the near future, we hope you contact True Built Home. Thank you very much.